Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. We're in the E46 today, so you know what that means. Another E46 video. This one is absolutely insane. I am so excited to film this video and finally install this mod into my BMW E46. It's been a long time in the making and you can probably tell by the title and thumbnail. I got a brand new upgraded steering wheel for my BMW E46 from a company called AZA or AZA. I will link them down below. You guys probably have heard about them. They're all over Instagram. They make some of the best custom wheels and will literally do whatever you want. This was completely an idea in my head. This is a one of one custom steering wheel. No one else has a steering wheel like this. So before we get into that, I'll show you the wheel, but before we get into that, guys, give this video a huge thumbs up, drop a comment below, consider subscribing. Also check out my Amazon ECS affiliate link. Show me some love, use those links and consider subscribing. So I am going to give you guys a first look at the steering wheel, but before we we install the steering wheel we have to make sure my interior deserves a steering wheel like this because my in my interior is a little neglected and we're gonna change that taking a first look at this box it is insane the craftsmanship that AZA has is amazing huge shout out to them for this partnership I'm absolutely stoked let's show you guys the wheel now Woo! look at that wheel oh my god this is absolutely beautiful we have the cinnamon stripe right here to match my interior with cinnamon striping we also have Alcantara on the top, leather, perforated leather on the sides, and look at that centerpiece, forged carbon, guys. It looks absolutely killer. Lighting might be a little weird for you to see it, but guys, this wheel is magnificent. A most beautiful wheel I've ever seen, completely one of one, custom. If you guys would like your own, link below, and go check out their Instagram. Their Instagram is absolutely insane. They have the most crazy wheels I've ever seen. So without further ado, let's install this wheel, but before before we do that, we are going to make sure my interior deserves this type of wheel. Oh, you make me want to talk back. Talk back to you. Say you say it like that. If I hate you, then find someone new. Baby, but you know. So my go-to conditioner for um, leather seats is Xanos leather in a bottle. Guys, this stuff smells amazing. Makes your car smell brand new, like brand new leather and helps protect the leather to keep it nice and soft and supple, especially on a car like this. And I like this stuff because it doesn't leave the leather super shiny, which you don't want. You want it to have a nice satin look. It will look shiny for a while until it dries, but once it dries, it dries very nice and has a very nice satin look to it. So we're gonna throw this on my seats. And that's all there is to leather conditioning. It's super simple. I'm just putting it on like, you can use a microfiber. I'm using this microfiber block, but that's all you have to do to condition the leather. So now that the interior is looking nice and clean, leather conditioned, it's time to install the steering wheel. So we're gonna start by disconnecting the battery. And here's a look at my old steering wheel, by the way. It has a cover on it and I did have an M Sport one, but I switched it because I had to give it to AZA. I gave my second gifts for helping me out with the steering wheel. Now with the battery disconnected, we can start by removing the airbag. You're going to need some sort of small flathead and there's a little hole in the back of the steering wheel. You gotta feel around for it. And you can see it, it's like right near the turn signal and you just stick a screwdriver in there and you're gonna actually push in a pin. And then once you have, once you pushed it in, sometimes it slips, but you're gonna have to push in the pin a little bit. And once the pin's released, you can pull up on the airbag. Right side out. I will say E46 or BMW in general is one of the easier airbags to remove compared to other ones that I've taken out. Just like that, airbags out, it just pulls forward. And now we have these two connectors right here holding in the airbag. There's a yellow one and a black one. I usually just take a plastic pry tool, and just pop it up, out, and out. You can use a screwdriver like I used. Uh, sometimes a screwdriver is easier, so keep that in mind, but I would recommend a plastic pry tool. With the airbag out, we're gonna remove these two connections. Just 
just pinch. And this one, I think you just pull. Yeah, and the right one you just pull, and then we have to remove this 16 millimeter nut, and it is pretty tight, so be careful. All right, guys, it's finally time to install this wheel. Oh my God, does it look beautiful. Oof, they did such a nice job on the steering wheel. It's time to install it. Now, to install the steering wheel, there's a little notch in the middle that lines up with the notch on your steering column, and that's how you ensure the wheel is straight. And the notch is lined up. Now time to reconnect the cables. Oh my God, guys, it looks freaking beautiful. Not even with the airbag on, just like that. It looks beautiful. The cinnamon is super nice and I absolutely love it. So let's get the airbag on now. Before I do that, I almost completely forgot we gotta put the bolt in to tighten it up. So let's put in the 16 millimeter nut and tighten that up, make sure it's nice and tight. Final step, put the airbag back on and the connectors really only go in one way and they're colored. So there's no way to mess this up. And just like that, it's in and oh my God, does this look killer. Here's a look at the wheel on the car. It looks absolutely beautiful. Love the cinnamon stripe to match the cinnamon interior that I have. It's a pretty good match. Obviously, I, the reason why I didn't do these in cinnamon is because I knew it wasn't gonna be perfect and talking to Aza, we knew we weren't gonna be able to get it perfect. This car's leather is over 10 years old. You're not gonna be able to get the color 100% perfect. So just having a nice little stripe to accent it is good, but I definitely didn't wanna to go too overboard because it would have stuck out like a sore thumb if the sides didn't match. So I opted to do perforated leather, Alcantara, stripe, and the cinnamon stitching across the whole wheel and it looks absolutely tremendous guys huge shout out to Aza. they this wouldn't be possible without them and i'm forever grateful to be able to have this type of steering wheel in my e46 so let's go put the battery back on and take it for a ride and see how it feels i know people say steering wheels transform the car and i'm a firm believer that a steering wheel absolutely transforms the way a car feels after i put my original m sport steering wheel on it and having the bigger bolsters it was crazy but now having the ergonomics and the flat bottom I bet this car is truly going to transform. All right, well, there you guys have it. This was an insult of my brand new one of one custom steering wheel made by Aza. Go on their Instagram, guys, show them some love and order a steering wheel if you like what you saw. You can do anything you want in the steering wheel. It can really help um, express your car and things that you have in your car to match. It goes awesome with the cinnamon interior. Absolutely love it. So go show them some love. Hope you guys enjoyed this E46 content. Also, give this video a thumbs up. Consider subscribing. And, guys, I definitely need an M Sport kit to go on this car now. That would really tie in this car, having the M Sport kit. So go check out everything down in the description below, my Amazon, my ECS, and especially go check out Aza. That's all I have for this video. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.